Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Summerauer. We start today with your health news, sponsored by 4M Dental. Love your smile again. Former Senator Dean Heller announced he is running for governor, and he wasted no time in discussing how he would handle the pandemic. Review-Journal's James Schaefer tells us more. I don't support mandates, and I do not support uh, lockdowns. Former Senator Dean Heller spoke outside Cheer Village in Las Vegas, a stop on Heller's run for governor of Nevada. Heller repeated at Monday's event that if he were governor, there would be no mandates for Nevadans. You won't see my name on, on the door of any box store or a, or a bank that says uh, you got to wear a mask because Governor Heller told you you have to do that. However, Heller underscored the importance of vaccines, but wants those decisions to be left to the individual and the businesses. A vaccine. I think that is the only way to fight this, and I will continue to stress that throughout this campaign and in the future. But that doesn't mean that somebody can't wear a mask. So do what you think is best for yourself. Do what you think is best for your children. For the Las Vegas Review Journal, I'm James Schaefer. We continue with your top stories this morning, brought to you by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. Another Las Vegas trade show has changed its plans. The AVN Adult Entertainment Expo announced that its show in January will have an all virtual format. The expo has been scheduled to take place at Virgin Hotels Las Vegas. Organizers cited concerns about the Delta variant. Last week, the National Association of Broadcasters announced that it too would cancel its trade show set for October. Well, NASCAR is rolling back into town this weekend, and one driver and his sponsor are helping animals here in the Las Vegas Valley. Alex Bowman drives the number 48 car sponsored by Ally Financial, and Ally is donating $1,000 to the Animal Foundation. It's part of a nationwide effort to help animal shelters. Bowman is matching the $1,000 donation, and if he wins the South Point 400 on Sunday, Ally will increase its donation to $10,000. Now it's time to take a look at your local weather forecast sponsored by One Hour Air. No matter the season, no matter the reason, One Hour Air is here for you. Today's highs are looking at near 93 degrees, light winds, mostly clear skies for your evenings, lows in the low 70s. For the rest of your week, we are staying in the mid 90s, 96 degrees forecasted for Friday, low 70s all across the board for your evening lows, and a slight chance of rain showers projected for the weekend. Now to your sports, sponsored by Station Casino's STN Sports. Download the app and get a bonus up to $500 when you sign up. Las Vegas Aces guard Kelsey Plum was named the WNBA's Western Conference Player of the Month for the month of September and Player of the Week for September 13th through the 19th. The Aces went 5-1 in September with Plum averaging 21.7 points, 3 rebounds, and 3.2 assists. Plum is also the favorite to win the WNBA's Sixth Woman of the Year award, finishing the season averaging 14.8 points and 3.6 assists, while making 38.6% of her three-pointers and 94.4% of her free throws. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability, a North Las Vegas company is trying to make homes more affordable by taking a cue from the auto industry. It's called Boxable, and it has started producing modular homes on an assembly line. And we've configured it to this little casita, this little adorable studio home. It's about 400 square foot, 375, I think, officially, and uh, it's just taken off. Boxable has yet to become profitable, but it is drawing interest from companies that want to use its products for workforce housing, serving the homeless, and to respond to natural disasters. We're not a charity, but we are good works. The company was started to fix a problem, not just to have a, a viable business. And that goal is to make us put as many roofs over as many people's heads as is humanly possible. Boxable expects to have 350 employees once its facilities become fully operational, and it expects to be able to build one of its homes every 90 minutes. And the federal government announced new travel rules that are expected to give the Las Vegas economy a shot in the arm. Starting in early November, foreign nationals may travel to the U.S. if they are fully vaccinated against COVID or show proof of a negative test taken within three days of the flight. Steve Hill, CEO of the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority, called the new policy an important turning point for the local tourism industry. The current rules have been felt at McCarran International Airport. International passenger 
passenger volume in the first seven months of the year fell nearly 90% from the same period in 2019. Sports betting sponsored by Las Vegas Pipe, Treble Smoke, and Cigar Shop. Mississippi quarterback Matt Corral has overtaken Alabama QB Bryce Young as the Heisman Trophy favorite. Corral is now 3-1 to one at the Westgate Superbook after opening at 30-1, to one, and Young is plus 350. Oklahoma QB Spencer Rattler has dipped to the 10-1 to one third pick after opening as the 5-1 to one favorite, and Cincinnati's Desmond Ritter is at 20-1 to one after opening at 80-1. to one. In your entertainment news, sponsored by DiscoverYourNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada, the rock band Journey put on a show that may have a preview of things to come. Review Journal columnist John Casalamitas explains. Guitar great Neil Sean of Journey tells me he spent most of COVID working on his chops and buying guitars. It's a good thing because Journey's going to be playing a lot in Las Vegas this winter, December 1st through 11th at the Theater at Virgin Hotels Las Vegas, and again a December 18th show at the Coliseum at Caesars Palace. We got a sampling of what the band can do on Saturday night at T-Mobile Arena when they closed out the iHeartRadio Music Festival. A lot of rock coming from one of the greatest American rock bands. In your lifestyle news, sponsored by Oakmont of Las Vegas Assisted Living and Memory Care, the best care for the best life, there's a brand new display at the Bellagio Conservatory. It's called Deeper Into the Woods, and it opened just in time for the official start of autumn on Wednesday. The display includes nearly 60,000 fresh cut carnations and more than 8,000 pounds of pumpkins. So we have lots of exciting new things for fall this year. Our family of Fox has a new little addition up on the treehouse, which is already a crowd favorite. We've only been open for a few days. We took a really deep dive in the east bed and inside the, the tree stump that you walk through. We have little beautiful shadow portraits of all the other characters that are in the bed, which is a great new addition. The display is open now through November 13th. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerauer. If you have a Roku device, search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. From all of us here at the Las Vegas Review Journal, have a great day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.